You got him! Everybody. <laughs> It wasn't a horrible season, but it really wasn't the best either. It seemed like uh, a lot of spots that we frequent that we we have pretty dialed. Uh, the quality of fish wasn't really there, but the quantity seemed to be there. So, you know, a lot of dinks, a lot of three fours. Uh, but unfortunately, it was like, it was a tough season to really track down those monsters, you know. I think mostly it was because every time we went out, it was the middle of the cold front or the start of one. So the whole week looked great weather-wise and of course come Friday or Saturday when I have time to go out because I work nights so I'm pretty much useless during the week, it would be bluebird skies with no wind. And it was just a, a struggle, you know? We're out there marking fish that were either in the mud or just above the mud. And it was just trying to get them to eat, trying to, you know, we, we went back to the same spots that we know hold giants because of the way the structure is set up you know, the, the, the funnels that the, the bigger fish can use to ambush that bait and make their, their bigger meals easier on them. We tried, and it just, you know, we both did get PBs this year, which is pretty nice. But um, it was tough, man. It was, it was real tough. So hopefully this upcoming season, you know, we got a few new spots. And uh, try to bake those PBs like usual, you know. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Thanks for supporting us and buying our merch and everything. You know, I really appreciate it. It makes this whole circle a little bit easier to complete every time. But uh, best of luck in 2021. Can't wait to see what you guys catch. guys just wanted to say a few things about how the season went for me um, this is probably the most time I've ever spent on the water this year which with COVID it's all there was to do right so I went fishing <laughs> um, unfortunately it didn't result in a whole bunch of giant fish for me I did get a new PB which is the ultimate goal in my opinion so I'm not complaining so these are pretty much the five baits that really got it done for me this year you can't go wrong with that battle shad. A lot of times I'll downsize, go to the Citizen 6. Wake bait, I like the Elude Switchblade, ultra thin profile. Anything will just come up and grab that. This guy's paint is just so durable. I don't know how many fish I caught on this and it just still looks brand new. My PB again came on a rat at night, two years in a row. XL, OD hard to beat that heavy knock two glides had a lot of luck with the 86 doom rider you can tell the things pretty roached a lot of fish on that and the shizzard big fish bullies the way that thing just darts through the water you can't resist it but as far as chasing those trophy new england fish for us i think the rats at night and the softies during the day is what really works for me but just crazy to me how much the bite changes from year to year like last year i caught probably half my fish on these crank down style baits this is a pet snack 
but I just wasn't getting that bite this year. I know a lot of guys were. But besides all that, hope you guys are enjoying the content. We're just weekend anglers, so we're just doing what we can with the time we got. Um, yeah, enjoy. <laughs> Are you listening? Damn. on the switchblade. Thing's pretty fat. <laughs> that's yeah, that's the bite. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that's the one. Look at it's got like Fuck a hunchback. Yeah. I know dude that's I thought it was longer. So I thought it was like a little bigger but the thing hammered it. It's a good one man. Hell yeah. I thought it was bigger than that, but that's still not that's, bad. Dude, that's a long skinny one. Jeez. Is that the only shallow spot in here? Nah. Yeah. Oh my god, you got a fish! Where are you bringing them? Left side? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a big fish.